Vana is uh, the first network for user-owned data. So what that means is it's a way for users to kind of own their data, use it throughout applications, contribute to AI models that they jointly own. Um, from a technical perspective, it is a layer one that's designed to work with this like private user-owned data. Um, and one of the most popular applications on Vana is these kind of data DAOs, which basically allow people to pool their data um, and then create almost like a data set specific token where you've turned data into an asset class. Um, Open Data Labs is um, the development and research company behind um, Vana, uh, which is where I am. And then Art, my co-founder is over at the Vana Foundation, which stewards forward uh, the protocol. So I'd love to hear more about your background and what led you to start the Vana protocol and Open Data Labs. Yeah. so. Um, I got interested in uh, crypto through um, mining. So I had been really interested in like central banks. I had worked at the Fed. I had a picture of like Janet Yellen in my high school bedroom because I saw currency as central to, to everything. And then got to MIT, learned about decentralized currencies, um, started mining Ethereum, um, just like found this world of uh, kind of using decentralization and kind of other like yeah, basically math and computer science to make a system that is owned by many people rather than having to trust any single entity. Um, and what's nice about that is you can build new kinds of systems, right? And so that's how I got into the decentralization side. Um, I then had started doing some kind of AI research, um, actually through econometrics type research. So I was trying to model um, data about like people and the economy get better and better. And then I started looking at more like machine learning techniques. Um, and so I started doing research at CSAIL, which is MIT's AI lab. Um, this was back in like 2017. So really early days of um, like the attention is all you need paper had come out, which is what underpins ChatGPT, but people hadn't figured out how to use it for generative models yet. And I think working in AI that early on, what I saw was that really the only thing that matters for better AI models is better data, right? And so then the question was kind of like, how do you get the best data set, right? How do you create the best AI models by aggregating the most data? And how might you use like a decentralized system to do that? Um, and so that's kind of the, the origin story of Vana. Um, and then Art, my co-founder, was in grad school at Harvard when I was doing my undergrad. He's a lawyer by training and used to work in data sales, selling data to um, some of the, the big tech companies. Um, and so we started, we t he had cross-registered for a class uh, at the MIT Media Lab. We started working together on a project, having people label data on their phones as a way to get kind of better data to train AI models with. Um, and, and the rest is, is kind of history. Even in a year, um, we'll have, uh, I'd say like on the scale of tens of millions of people who've contributed their data and really like some of the best data sets in the world, right? Like you will have better data in Vana than what you can get from any centralized company. And what that then turns into is the best AI models, right? And so I think that that's one of the number one um, pieces that we really track to. Um, there's also this aspect of kind of more broadly, like what's possible in a world where users own their data, right? Like in the same way that when you log into a crypto application with your crypto wallet, like MetaMask, all of your funds are there with you. With Vana, like you log in with your wallet and then all of your data is there with you. Right. And that's like really awesome from a developer perspective, because now you can build an application that depends on somebody's emails or messages or whatever else you want to train on. You can build hyper personalized AI agents. You can build um, in a way that usually you can only build within a big tech company. Right. And so what I'm excited about is something I saw with a lot of my AI friends actually graduating is like they went to go work at big tech companies because that's where the data was. And that's like, if you wanted to work in AI or you wanted to build these kinds of applications, that's kind of like the trade-off you had to make. Um, but I think that now with Vana, there's a way to just build like really amazing, like user-owned data applications that are actually even better than what you can build within a walled garden. Um, so yeah, it's just about opening up that walled garden of data um, and making it available to developers, um, truly owned by the users. Um, and that's especially important in this AI native world, right? In a world where so much economic value is created from AI, it is really important that users have um, that ownership.